So the first thing that you, you tweeted after your win was a thank you to Double Ipt for, for letting you be his support. So, you know, why are you so thankful towards him after a win? Um, it's like when Jake Yuji moved to Team Liquid and then actually there was Cody too. So they were supposed to get uh, Ole, it's me, but it's like when Peter joined, Peter uh, had a like kind of, he could choose the support. Like if he said like, I want to play with Biofrost or Apromo, whatever, then I cannot be there. Like even though I want to play with Eugene and Jake, so. But Peter, like I, I talked to talk to Peter before I joined Team Liquid. He said like, hey, I think if we are, uh, if we can be both you, I think we're going to win NLCS. So, okay, let's make it. Thank you, so. Why do you think he chose you over all those people? I think, it, I, in the early time, he told me like he thought maybe I'm really good shuffling and maybe I, I did everything by myself because it was like Cody and me. Cody was new player and then actually I was doing maybe more stuff. But when Peter played with me, he realized like I'm not really great or perfect. So he started to take, uh, he started to do my job instead of like doing his job only. So. I, I felt like I was too sorry every day. So like he did like wonder thing, I did like 10 thing. And then I asked him, oh, maybe I can do 20 thing. Like I just get one by one. So today I think I was doing my old job as a support. When I, when I talked to Peter, it seems like he's not really disappointed in you. Um, where do you think a lot of like the self doubt comes from? Is it because Peter's so famous and he's won a lot? Or it seems like you doubt yourself more than he actually doubts you. Yeah, I think maybe I did overreact. Maybe I don't know, but it's like I think my problem was like kind of being cocky. But it, it, like now I'm playing with Peter, with, who is like really famous and a really great player. So I can't be cocky in front of him. So like by uh, like by next to him, like I can't be cocky at all. This is really great thing to me. And the second thing is like. I don't need to talk about everything because when he has his own idea, he just talk to me. And then when I have new idea, I talk to him. So like sometimes it's like he's higher than me, but sometimes I can be higher than him. So like we have really good balance. When you, right after you guys won the game, uh, it seems like you were tearing up a little bit on stage. What was going through your head in that moment? It's like I've been uh, going through a really hard time. Like maybe it show up on a uh, YouTube video, like our team squad video. It was kind of hard. In only time, like no one say like Peter. Like it's like Peter is literally saying directly, you know? So it's like when he say, oh, your bomb is so bad. Your bomb is really terrible. Like I, even though I knew my bomb is not, was not good. Like I still felt hurt, but after I got to know his, uh, saying style and oh uh, maybe this is way his way to uh, maybe show his love maybe because because he did that I could play better on stage and it's better to just get flame before stage so I think he taught me a lot <laughs> did you did you expect a 3-0 today I was not sure but I knew our boat uh, gonna win for sure I don't know why. I, I, I had really great confidence today. Like I know I knew our team is really great, but I knew Arbotio can't lose against them. So why? Hmm? Why? Because you know like I was you know like Apromo maybe didn't get you know, this feeling you know, I felt really hard sometimes I just oh my god, I just wanna give up but really I, I I literally did think like that every day. Like, why life is so hard? Like, I play one mistake. Like, even though I made good play 10 times, I did one mistake. Like, everyone just blame me. Like, holy, why you went there? You know, it's like, I was really sad every day. But I think that stress made me better player. So I think I was sure. I probably didn't expect, uh, didn't experience this thing this year at least. So you feel like you were more confident than Aframu today? I was confident by um, what I have done. So I, I, I believe in myself because like I know myself, right? So I, I know how hard I work. 
I know how how much time I put more time. So yeah, my confidence was built by my time. We talked not too long ago, and you said you didn't want to be too popular again, uh, that you were afraid of it. And I think you failed at that. I think you're fairly popular now. Um, how, are, how are you going to deal with all of this attention? I think Peter is really famous. I think he know how to, like, how to act or how to say on public. So I'm trying to, like, I've been learning how to be like him. So because like I can't just be afraid of being famous. So I, I, I don't think I'm famous now anyway, but so like one day, maybe if I'm, if I get to be famous, I will, uh, I will use the way like Peter used. So I think now I'm not afraid. Does Peter give you tips or do you just sort of watch him? It's like whenever I ask him something, he always gave me good answer so I can learn a lot. So I think one day, even though we are not the same team, if I ask him, he will answer me well, I believe. What kind of tips does he give you? It's like he said, doesn't, doesn't like, I think he literally say like, don't need to be afraid of saying something on public. And if you believe your word is right, just say it. And just, just be a man, he said that. I was like, okay. What are the sort of jobs that you wanted to take away from Double Lift? It's like, he, even he was talking about uh, vision control, like, hey, we have to, like, after they pushed me, he said, like, oh, we have to get better vision right now. But that was my job. But I was not really good at that in early time. So, like, I was just, like, whenever he says something, I just follow and they put wild, like, robot. But this game, like, I was the one who called first, like, hey, guys, we need to get dragon vision. We have to uh, contest this vision together. So, like, yeah, I think. So, you say you don't think you're very popular. I would disagree. Is there something you want to say to your new fans? Um, maybe some people start to watch news, uh, our squad video or my Twitter or whatever other video. But maybe I have to now because I stopped it uh, last month. But yeah, like I, I can't be fake, you know? Like I'm not the person who just can act like some good man or bad person. I can't do that. So, yeah, it's kind of tired to think like, oh uh, maybe, oh maybe I maybe I can act well on stage. I can act on public whatever. But I can't. You know, I'm lazy as, as f. So, yeah, I think if you see me on YouTube or public whatever, it's me. Like it's honest, Ole. So you don't need to think like. Ole just act or Ole is fake person. So I'm I'm gonna show you who I am, and I hope you to like uh, like or love me. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Mm, I think I I have been really thankful to Peter every day. Like sometimes we are not like really good friends because we have to criticize each other but yeah I really appreciate his direct words and I'm really happy to like fix my problem so I want to say thank you to Peter